Hello, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here I am with the new BlackBerry Z10. Um, now, if you're a you know, regular visitor to our website or indeed our YouTube channel, um, you may have seen that James a couple of weeks ago had his hands on, on one of these, but it was uh, not a retail uh, version of the handset, and, and the packaging actually had a PR model. Um, so here we are with the retail packaging, which we are going to just take a look at, so that you can see um, what you kind of get if you uh, go out and buy this yourself. So we'll just undo the seals on here and this is actually my first time looking at the uh, new BlackBerry uh, itself anyway so uh, it's going to be a, an element of discovery here so on top we have the Z10 and as you can see here we have the white model uh, obviously we're picking up a little bit of dust already out of the box itself um, but there we go that's the, uh, the white model of the Z10 so just put that to one side for a second and then we have a couple of little boxes inside so first one we have has uh, the warranty and the manual then we have some information about the Snapdragon processor I guess um, we have a wired headset so we have uh, without opening this a four pole three and a half mil jack an inline microphone uh, with a fairly simplistic push button there nothing else on there and then the actual headphones themselves they're the in-ear style but not the um, you know the uh, canal type uh, headphones they look uh, kind of kind of basic but they are a little bit different to uh, those that you would find find with a sort of like the older blackberries we have a cable, so this is a USB to micro USB sync and charge cable. Finally on this side we have a battery, which is actually quite large. So it's a sort of an unusual shape in long and thin. And capacity wise it is one uh, 1800 milliamp hour battery. Um, I say it's quite, uh, that's quite large and quite weighty. On the other side of the box I think we just simply have the USB charger, so it's a UK 3 pin plug with a USB socket on the bottom. Uh, that's all we get in the box, I say all, I mean, there's a few accessories in the box there. And to take a look at the handset itself, so let me peel off that screen protector and the one on the back so that we can see it a little bit more clearly without, uh, without any uh, reflection. So on the front, let's start at the top, you have the loudspeaker. Uh, below that we have a 2 megapixel uh, camera forward facing so that you can use it for um, taking uh, pictures of yourself and obviously seeing your own uh, image on the screen. That 2 megapixels will do 720p video recording. Below that we have a 4.2 inch display which is 768 by 1280 pixels. So it's a pretty high resolution display. It's uh, in the order of 355 pixels per inch. So that's a reasonably high pixel density as well. Um, there is capacitive touchscreen as you would expect. Looking around to uh, the left hand side here we have um, two connectors. Uh, we have the micro USB for sync and charge and we have a feature connector there as well. Uh, I think that's for docking and that kind of stuff. On the bottom uh, I guess that there is I think that's for an external loudspeaker and indeed how we get the back off. Then we have an up and down volume control and a center button there, it's like an action button. On the top, uh, an additional microphone for noise cancelling, the power button, uh, and indeed the 3.5mm headphone socket, which uh, takes the four pole um, style um, wired headsets, uh, or indeed any uh, you know, standard 3.5mm uh, sort of jacked um, headphones. Let's move everything out of the way. Um, Taking off the back, or actually looking at the back, we have an 8 megapixel autofocus camera. We'll just pop the back off. Uh, underneath here we have space then for a micro SIM, uh, which is that side, and a micro SDHC memory card. And obviously in this large cavity here, we have the space for the battery, which will pop in place. On the back, uh, the back cover, which is uh, obviously quite plastic, um, and uh, in here we have an NFC uh, antenna. Uh, other devices from BlackBerry have had this before, but it's actually built into the back cover and picks up on these two little contacts there, 
with there. So um, NFC is actually right on the back cover there. Let's just pop all that on. And it is actually starting up, as is uh, you know, quite pretty common with uh, uh, with Blackberry. So there we go. Let's while that's starting up, let me run down the rest of the specification. So it is um, a quad band for GSM um, and quad band for 3G. 4G network um, supports. Uh, LTE, uh, 800, 900, 1800 and 2600 um, bands, as I say, micro SIM inside as well. In terms of size, we're 130 millimeters from top to bottom, uh, 65 and a half millimeters wide, and at the thickest, widest point, uh, it's nine millimeters thick. Feels quite, um, quite weighty, it's actually 130 grams. Um, strangely, seems quite heavy. I mean, I guess I'm used to an iPhone. Um, I guess it's of a similar weight to that. Uh, but it feels quite weighty. Uh, I guess the uh, sort of shape and design, um, you know, obviously contributes to that as well. Um, and this being the white one, it's quite attractive. There's sort of a bit, it's a bit edgy around the sides, um, you know, with a, a few gaps, sort of where the back cover isn't uh, isn't fitting perfectly. Just as a sort of an observation there, back cover isn't a perfect fit even when it's popped right on. But nevertheless, there we go. Uh, capacitive touchscreen as we already mentioned, 768 uh, by 1280 pixels and we have a 16 gig internal storage with 2 gig of RAM. This one has the uh, 1.5 gigahertz crate processor which is dual core uh, and then we have the uh, Adreno 225 uh, GPU as well. BlackBerry 10 operating system, uh, obviously Wi-Fi supporting A, B, G and N standards and it's dual band as well. Bluetooth 4 with A2DP and LE support as well. NFC, as I've already mentioned. USB on the side is micro USB and it's a V2 support as well. And the GPS supports geotagging and all that kind of stuff. Video recording on the back with the back camera is 1080p. Um, I think that covers pretty much uh, sort of like the basic rundown um, of the hardware. And we'll just take a quick look at uh, getting stuff set up. So we've got, we're gonna set up in English. Swipe left to continue, there we go. Uh, connect to our mobile network, we're going to skip that for now. Connect to a Wi-Fi network, yes we can do that. Uh, in fact, cancel that. Let's just there we go, let it find one. So let me just connect, as you can see, we have a pretty large QWERTY keyboard. Um, it's, uh, I guess there's nothing too out of the ordinary about it. Um, it's Layout is obviously going to be QWERTY. Um, design is somewhat different to, um, say, Android uh, devices, but you know, similar nevertheless. But we're going to go and use that now. It is a decent sized keyboard, makes it nice and easy to use. I'm just going to connect to the Wi Fi network. Okay, and we are connected. Change the country to United Kingdom, which is down trying to download the um, agreement, license agreement, uh, which it looks like we're going to force us to do. There we go. We're going to agree to that. We'll skip to skip the Black Friday for the moment. We'll disable the diagnostics, and it's going to check for software updates. So this is uh, something that only really happens as a one-off when you first start up all of these settings and configurations. And it's going to tell us all about the essential gestures in a tutorial. It's pretty useful to see um, because I have absolutely no idea um, in terms of the interface the first time I've actually used one. But I think we'll try and whiz through this as much as possible. That's pretty common, that swipe gesture down there. I can't say it's the most perfect of uh, gesture based interfaces. I'm actually finding it already a little bit frustrating. There 
we go. Right, managed to get out of there at last. So when we have like this sort of panel design, uh, so we can go into setup. That's basically running applications. These are uh, installed applications, uh, of which we have several. And then coming back all the other way, we can skip setting up the accounts. And this is where we'd have the BlackBerry Hub as well. In terms of applications we've got installed, you've got BlackBerry World, BBM, all that kind of stuff, music, videos. Um, I guess quite a few of these features are going to be uh, disabled for me, such as BBM and that kind of stuff, because I haven't got a SIM card installed. Um, but you get the idea. So if you want to see more of the user interface and indeed some of the installed applications, please check out the other videos that we've got uh, either on YouTube uh, YouTube channel or indeed on the uh, website tracymat.co.uk. Um, that concludes the video of our BlackBerry Z10. This has obviously just been a quick unboxing video of this white version. Um, for more videos and reviews, check us out on tracymat.co.uk. Um, I'll be back soon, but for now, thanks for watching.